Um, <clears throat> so do you, cons do you consider yourself a consumer of the mental health system? Yeah. Do you consider yourself a survivor of the mental oh, health system? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, good answer. <laughs> yeah. Do you, oh, so um, do you consider yourself either in moving towards recovery or at a place at recovery? I'm in recovery. Good, good, cool. Okay, so what is your best coping tool? What's your favorite coping tool to use? To drink water. Water, so what does that do for you? It uh, calms me and uh, it's like a plant. Mm -hmm. I literally feel like a plant a lot of the time. Cool. And, uh, and I just need water and I drink massive amounts of it. And that's not so good for everybody because lot, lots of times water can like I don't know, some people take meds where you can dilute, if, if you take meds, mm -hmm. it can be diluted and things, and that's not good if you need mm -hmm. your meds, but um, it's delicious, and I love it, and, yeah. oh, and I used to be super heavy, mm -hmm. and like really heavy, and it's a focusing point, it focuses on life, and life is intelligent. Right, life, yeah. yeah. Cool, yeah. okay. So... Who has supported you the most in life, and what did they do to support you? My mom has been the most supportive in my life. Um, and what's she done to support me? Always been there for me. Um, you sound a little nervous. I want you to realize that literally, I'm going to yeah. just have a conversation. Yeah. It's going to be edited. It's going to make you look great. It's going to make you look smart. You will be successful. Okay. This is, who knows what's going to happen. I'm not really so worried about the camera. Good. Okay. okay, good. Okay. Um, so, what did what did your mom do that was so helpful, that was so supportive for you? Uh, she talked to me a lot. Talking, okay. Yeah. No, we talking... Um, yeah, she talked to me a lot. She told me how much she loved me. Um, she told me some good things. Yeah, the noises. So, she told me, always positive. Mm -hmm. She was never negative, unless she was upset. And if she was upset, she usually didn't take it out on us. So, what was your turning point in your recovery? My turning point was uh, when I, the last time I, the first time I really um, went against medication and uh, said, said no more medication, because I live, I actually live in a state institution. And, uh, right now you do? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, uh, so, this was probably nine, it was coming on nine years ago that I refused medication for the first time, like, um, and I went to a, a maximum security in this institution, which is the Oregon State Hospital, mm -hmm. and uh, I had a really, I was really manic, um, I got really manic, um, and uh, so I was hallucinating a lot and, and extreme delusional thinking and then I ended up uh, taking shots in the behind it, you know, to, uh, what the hospitals will do, you know, they'll shoot you up with medication, five point okay. restraints and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm getting to it though, so, yeah, so I'm not running out of time, right? No, 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 not at all. So, no, when you said shots, I was like, are you saying that you're taking like... Shots no, somewhere. No, <laughs> like, I, the orchestra hospital lets you drink liquor. No, nice. Back in like the 1800s, they did. Right, of course. And also some early 1900s. Um, so then they were giving me Haldol shots and Prolixin, and then um, so I was like getting like better, like but I've been doing dealing with this whole getting better for like five years, and I was not getting better. I still believed in my head that there was all these. I believed in my delusions, and I just was like able to function. I just and I seemed okay, but I really believed that I was a CIA agent. And da da da, and it was really trippy. I have a question: When you were going through, and you were believing that you're a CIA agent, what? Do you think that there's anything anybody could have said to make you not believe that? No. So there's nothing that people could have said that been like, hey man, it's just in your head, it's not real. Anything someone could have done to knock you out of those delusions? Not at all. I, I totally understand. I don't know. I was the exact same way. <laughs> Hands down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, 
your delusions? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah, I was schizophrenic in my delusions. There's nothing anybody could have said to me that would have made me been like, oh, that's not really happening. I would have been like, I know something you don't. Yeah. You don't tell me that these are in my head. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Um, so, let's see. So, did you? Hmm? Okay, let me think of the next question. Okay. What... What is some of the best advice that you have been given? Slow down. And I asked you uh, just a second ago if there's any, but anything anyone could have said to knock you out of understanding those from delusions. What did happen? I mean, you obviously say now that you know you're not a CIA agent, and that, and, and you know that that was just part of your challenges. What what was the turning point that you just clicked in? You're like, oh. That was my turning point um, when I was in maximum security. Okay. And so, like, I was getting shots, and then I ended up uh, getting a call from my mom. And she basically was like, uh, she never, she didn't say these words, but she, she, uh, she got, gave me the message somehow. I don't even know. I don't remember the, what she said exactly. So what was the message that your mom gave you? She was like, um, hey, I don't like who you are when you're sick. Because I, 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 was, I was very violent. It's violent stuff. I won't tell you what I did, but I'll tell Chrissy if she wants to know sometime. <laughs> so, um. Good boundaries. Yeah, so I, I did some violent stuff and, and uh. So she was very honest, and she was speaking for the family. And so basically, I got the message. I started taking my medication because I was getting better, is what the doctors mm -hmm. thought was better. And I started taking my medications, and I started talking to people and sharing my thoughts and sharing my emotions and sharing my, you know, sharing everything. I wouldn't. There was no holds barred. You know, like I was like I would not. If if I thought somebody was FBI, I'd say, hey, look. I think he or she is FBI, what do you think? And then we would talk about it. And then um, that was the turning point and I started eating my food. Like I used to fast, because you know when you get manic it's a lot more intense when you don't eat and you don't sleep. And uh, so, and I liked to get high, I was definitely a, so um, I started eating my food and I just started doing the same things that everybody else who wants to be well does, not whether they have mental illness or not. And uh, but I, I do take high doses of medication. Which cool. Is nice. cool. Um, so let's say that you could go back and talk <laughs> with yourself okay. when you were at your lowest point. Yeah. What would you want to say to yourself? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get the fuck run or don't run, but. Get the fuck out of here, you know, um, wise up, uh, uh, what would I say to you? I would say, take your time though, take, I was conflicting thoughts, but take your time, but, um, make, okay, I'm gonna steal, so, uh, steal something, it's, it's, hello Judine. Uh, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna say something uh, that um, my friend says, and some of you who are ever see this will know who I'm talking about. But it's not I don't think it's his saying. But make haste slowly. I think that's what I would have told myself. So. The I Got Better project is all about people that are at their lowest point, they're at a point of hopelessness. Yeah. You know, they're suicidal, and these videos are to show them, you know, they're not alone, and to show them that recovery is possible. You are living proof. So, imagine you're talking to someone who's at their lowest right now. Okay. I mean, they're going to kill themselves. They feel completely hopeless. What would you like to say to those individuals? It's okay. Um... Wait, you're not alone. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people out there feeling the same things that you are. 
and it's normal. Just hang on because there's a lot more coming and it's a blessing and it's everything you have ever dreamed it will always be able to be. What is your hope for the mental health system in the future? Fucking abolish it. You know? Fucking abolish it. Get it get it gone. Cool. Yeah.